What's up, 12th man? This is Kenneth Arthur here again for Field Goals. It's YouTube. You're watching me. That's what we're doing right now. And now that I've told you what you're doing and where you are, let's move on because today we're talking about the first quarter of the season. We're a fourth of the way into the year. We're at the quarter mile mark, the Fast and the Furious mark. We're off to the races, Tokyo Drift. That's where we are. So what we're going to do today is talk about the first quarter and give some people some awards because they like awards and they feel good when they get awards and it's a gold star it makes you feel better you can put it on the fridge not these ones because you're not going to be physical we're not sending them out and we're also going to tell some people why they need to step up so let's just get right into it here are the awards for the first quarter of the seahawks two and two season starting with offensive mvp who is the offensive mvp who's the most valuable player on offense Oh man, oh man. Uh, it's Marshawn Lynch. There is no other option. This is a candidate running by himself. He's unopposed. It's only Marshawn Lynch on the 28th, 29th ranked offense in the NFL for points and yards. There's only one guy out there that you can give the award to for the best player on offense. He's carrying the team. He's putting his team on the back though. Okay? That's determination. He's been carrying it ever since last se uh, with the Saints in the end of that 7-9 and nine season. He's put this entire offense on his back and he's carried it the entire time. You think you're going to get one yard. He'll go out and get you six. He's going to carry an entire defense onto him, literally, as he gets those yards. There's no other option. It's Marshawn, beast mode, mo money, mo problems, Lynch. He's your offensive MVP. Moving on to the other side of the ball, defensive MVP. This is a little more difficult, but I'm going to go with the man. He leads the entire defense. He sets it up so it can work just the way it is. It's Earl Thomas. That's your defensive MVP right there. That's the Danny Tanner of the defense, okay? Maybe Chris Clemens is the Jesse, you know? He's a bad boy. He goes out there, he gets his sacks and other things that sound like sacks. Or maybe, you know, you got uh, Richard Sherman as the Joey telling jokes. But the thing that makes it all come together and bring together a full house is Earl Thomas. He makes everything else possible by containing the end. So that's why Earl Thomas, your defensive MVP. How about your most valuable rookie? It's going to be Russ. No, it's going to be Bobby Wagner. That's the best rookie this year. I hate to say it. I wanted it to be Wilson. It's not Russell Wilson. It's Bobby Wagner. He's starting. He's getting out there. You know, he's coming along. He's not there yet. He's not finished. He's not perfect. But when we're talking about just the rookies, I can't give it to Turbin. He hasn't played enough. He showed in the last game. And we'll see how he develops. But we're talking only about a quarter of the season, four games. It's going to be Bobby Wagner. We'll see how the other guys develop. You know, it can't be Corey Toomer. It can't be Winston Guy. It can't be Greg Scruggs. It can't be J.R. Sweezy. So it's going to be Bobby Wagner. Moving on. Unsung heroes. I'm going to sing it for you, KJ, right? I'm singing. I'm singing for you. You're my hero. You're the wind beneath my wings. KJ Wright, I don't know how much of the league knows about you yet, but when you go to five Pro Bowls in your career, they're going to know about you. Fourth round pick. These guys are not jokes anymore. They're not forgotten. Fourth round pick, especially in Seattle, it's a big deal. That's why KJ Wright, it's no surprise he's kept up. And the most important thing about KJ Wright is that he's not Aaron Curry. He's the very opposite of Aaron Curry. Ever since he took over for Curry last year, we haven't looked back and he's developing into a star on the outside. How about our biggest surprise? How about how shitty the offense is? I don't know if they're gonna let me say that word on SB Nation, but I did say it. So, how about that? Uh, I'm really disappointed in the offense. I thought maybe 20th, but now we're talking about one of the worst in the NFL. If we were the 20th offense in the NFL, we could very easily be 4-0, but it hasn't been nearly good enough yet. So what do we need? We're moving on. It's the time to step up player of the day, Russell Wilson. And if it's not going to be Russell Wilson, then it's going to be Matt Flynn. If it's not going to be those two, then it's got to be Daryl Bevel and Pete Carroll to figure out a way to get these guys rolling because this offense needs to get better and it's going to start with the quarterback. So let's get better production out of those guys. Do what you need to do because we got 12 games left and we're going to need to win eight of those. So step up. Russell Wilson or Matt Flynn, I don't care anymore. One of ya, all right? So the next four games coming up, we are going to one and three Carolina. We are going to stay home against the two and two Patriots. We are going to three and one San Francisco, and we are going to one and three Detroit, but they're not quite a one and three team. They can put up points with the best of them. They got this guy. I heard his name is Calvin, but I don't know much about him. So that's it. That's the first quarter of the season. We've given out awards. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
follow on Twitter, go to field goals, hang out, upgrade to whatever system you need in order to view, use SBN United. Just do it. That's it. We'll see you next time.